Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of my favorite levels of motorhome. This isn't an entry level motorhome, but it's not the highest end luxury motorhome. It is that perfect combination of quality and price. This is a 2022 Holiday Rambler Invicta model 32RW. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Holiday Rambler and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is matt from matt's rv reviews it's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to rvs and again today i am super excited to be taking a look at this holiday rambler invicta but before i begin i would like to say hi to andrea hey you're not andrea you're hey jen guys. hey how are you doing what's going on jen not bad it's a beautiful day here actually i can feel the fall starting where is today here we we are at rv1 of charlotte north carolina yes 704-743-5280 thank you so much for having us here today what the heck are we doing in north kakalaki well we came down because it, it was actually really convenient it's like the perfect halfway between maryland and florida and we came here because we, we honestly we needed some videos they have a ton of inventory here of different brands and so we decided Decided to come here and it's our first time at this dealership and i just want to say thanks because it's been they've been so so welcoming here yes and so we're just making the best of the day absolutely and uh the reason why we're meeting up because we are on our way to the hershey rv show yes which we're very excited to oh, meet yeah. each and every one of you guys jen let's begin model is holiday rambler invicta 32 rw the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 34 feet 6 inches. This is the Holiday Rambler Invicta. This is the sister product to the Fleetwood Fortis, okay? Very, very similar. I actually don't know of many differences at all. Um, they're almost identical sister products. Right up front here, I love this, Jen. I love those LED lights. I love how mean and aggressive it looks. It does have the technology package, which is the... Um, uh, the collision mitigation system, very, very nice feature. And again, I do, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a cool motorhome. Yeah. Uh, this does have full body paint. Full body paint is the option. Partial body paint is the standard. Coming on down the side here, because of the 2022, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. <laughs> 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Jen, they're the Michelins. I love those. 235-80R22.5 with the shiny Alcoa rims. A new feature for the Invicta Fortis Bounder Southwind Vacationer is you can now option this with liquid spring from the factory. Very Jen, exciting. didn't you test drive a motorhome in Liquid I did. Spring? did. When we were in FMCA in Wyoming, um, Liquid Spring was there. We'll put a link to the video up there. And um, I got to test drive a Class A, which was like the biggest vehicle I've ever driven. And it drove like a dream with that on it. It was so nice. Yes, and then what's great, the reason why it comes, the reason why it's great that it's coming from the factory, it is an expensive option. And so to, get it on an ordered unit you're not coming out of that money out of pocket you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah you so, you rolled into the financing exactly so that's a really awesome feature coming on down the side here we do have these chrome mirrors with cameras integrated in your left side right side and the reverse side and then coming on down here also guys stay tuned for the hershey show because we're gonna have an interview with all uh, liquid spring um going over the difference between the like the two point and the four point yeah. so i think that'd be we're, we're, we're going to talk to a lot of vendors at the Hershey Show. For sure. Also, make sure you guys, very nice storage. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to Will and Jen's channel. It's called Will and Jen. <laughs> uh, because they're going to be bringing you videos of a lot of the vendors and stuff on yeah. the inside. Stuff that you won't see on our show. Yeah. We're going to do a video every single day. So, behind the scenes tours and um, other stuff. We're, we're still planning what exactly people want to see the most. So Yeah. So, leave a comment down below. Yeah. Right here we do have speakers on the outside. Very nice power awning with LED lights and you can see there that there is frameless windows. Jen, I was so distracted. This is a huge TV on the outside. It is actually. Okay. 
Coming on down the side here. Did I show this? Uh, we didn't get a peek in. No. Oh, okay. There we go. A little bit of more storage there. Very, very nice. Watch your head there. Coming on down the side here. Watch your head there. <laughs> Aw. Welcome. More pass through storage. No, Will can't walk. <laughs> Propane quick connect there. Cool. And Jen, they have this unit plugged in ready for, to roll. Oh, that's it. so nice. I mean, it's not even a hot day, but. No, it's actually perfect weather. Still, still nice to have that. Yes. And then right there. Oh, wow, that's wow. interesting. Yeah. Up there. Now, coming around the back, it does have a fiberglass rear cap, okay? So if you take a look at this and then you turn around behind you, Jen, this is also a Holiday Rambler product. This is an Admiral no rear cap okay yeah so the rear cap actually covers over the fiberglass it's just it's better to do it that way it's less likely less susceptible to leaks leaks yeah yep. also one little quick point all of the storage is like this you know fiberglass or plastic or whatever it is looks like this one is carpeted so for for like things you want to keep a little bit more protected yeah carpeted. for sure a uh, nice rear tail light backup camera right there eight thousand pound hitch now this motorhome can't tow eight thousand pounds you're good with 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you got to check to weigh your motorhome first. Know before you tow. And we do have a ladder to get up on the run piece TPO roof. Jen, we're going up there and take a look. Be careful. Go down. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And then right there, it does have a solar panel already on the roof. What? You're still supposed to say be careful. Oh, I said be careful when you went off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess be careful again. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What other RV YouTuber is going to take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. I don't know why this attachment point for the ladder doesn't make me feel safe. Dude, these are the worst ladders. <laughs> like, they just, them. it doesn't wrap all the way around. Right, so yeah. Scary. <laughs> Black tank flush city water connection. Right here's your own and 5,500 D. Oh, uh, jeez. 5,500 gasoline generator. I don't know why I said the D word. The D word. Diesel. <laughs> right here, 50 amp power cord. Surge guard protector. I love this. Outdoor shower and water heater. They continued the full body paint. Yes. Looks great. Black tank gum. Um, black and gray tank dump. More storage. Oh, there's some pass through up there. It's gonna be propane. No, it's not. It's your fluid. Hydraulic fluid. For your auto leveling and here's the propane and then jen right here bing those are going to be the specs about this motorhome well jen the outside of the invicta looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look now we need the key to the ignition to get the slide outs in and out which we don't have um, so sorry that slide outs aren't out. That's okay. The cargo carry capacity is 3,371 pounds. All right, let's take a look at this. Wow, this is very bright. Got a nice big bedroom back here. This is a huge bedroom. It's like a nice big king bed, uh, TV on a televator, and then got your kitchen here, bathroom your living space up here. Jen, let's get started up front here. All right. Look at these nice, big, comfy. You know what, Jen? You were the guest. Am I driving? You're driving. <laughs> big, comfy driver and passenger seats. Oh, yeah. Power seats right there. Again, I know a lot of manufacturers, they're missing parts for the power seats. So you might not get power seats on all of them. I'm not sure. But how do you feel up there? Oh, it's so comfortable. Yes, yes. Steering wheel right there, your auto leveling. Right there. We got actually a panel over here. I think that's for your um, your rear view Camera. mirror and your side mirrors. Yep. Um, and then we got actually a huge screen here. I guess that's all your like 
I don't know. Is your GPS there? I'm not sure. Yep. Radio, music, Apple radio, CarPlay, all that. all that good stuff. Yes, ma'am. Tons of cup holders and space and everything, and a couple of controls here. But yeah, the seats are super comfy. Nice. And then right here in the passenger seat, look at this. I got a little work Ooh, tray like right that. there. Very nice. Cup holder. There we go. Yes. Cup holder here. Good, comfortable. And there's actually even a little nook underneath here uh, for you to store some more stuff. Nice. And then above, we do have storage. Or up here and over here. Yes. And then something to notice with the cabinetry, Jen. Notice like the inlay color. Yeah. So at FMCA, I, I was talking to the interior designer of the Fleetwood product. And that's like, like a lot of, it's like the next level of like interior design. Like it's not just about having the white cabinet. It's about having that like little... I guess it gives it a little like dimension, right. like yeah. having the edge. Correct. And it just makes it look better. Yeah, it's, and typically in houses, like the more detail you have in the cabinets, the higher end they are. Yes. You know, kind of flows with that. There is a bunk over the cab high aloft that holds 600 pounds. I don't think we need the ignition key for that. But let me see. Um, yeah, we do. Oh. Yep. So we won't be able to get it down. But you guys have seen these. We push the button and it comes down. But it's got a 600 pound weight capacity. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Found it. There we Yay. go. Yay. <sighs> yeah, 600 pounds, which is really good for a class A. Now it is a thinner mattress, but again, those are for the non-paying customers. Yeah. <laughs> you can show it for us. Very nice. And it does come down a little bit more. And we got a place to hook up your ladder here. Yes. And then over here, we do have very nice cabinetry above the di above the sofa right here. You can show that storage yeah. as well. Got this like frosted glass front. How do you like the balances? I, I like them actually. Yeah, Fleetwood does a great job with yeah. their interiors. And then we do have these MCD privacy shades. No daytime shades, but you do get the privacy shades. And then check this out, Jen. Very nice, very plus very comfortable theater seats. Here we go now. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> very nice theater seats where you are looking directly across the TV. You got your place for the remote. Jen, you got to sit down with this cup holder and everything. Is it nice? Let's try this side. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, right? Real plush and everything. Yeah, and you got seat belts here too. Oh yeah, it's very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I'd be sitting there while we're driving down the road because you do got the seatbelts. Oh, and then yeah. directly across is the TV. Right here's the TV. I love how they still were able to give you a window. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, nice. that's a big wide window too. It is, it is. You do have a dinette that does have cup holders. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. We got your uh, cushions and everything. And then we even have some storage underneath there. Oh, and some, some power outlets right there, which is nice if you're working. Yes, ma'am. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And do you know what the MSRP is? I don't. Neither do I, actually. <laughs> this unit just came in. But we're going to go to online and price out one of these. So go to Fleetwood's website and then click Build and Price. It will show you all the selective models. And we're selecting the 2022 Fortis. Right now it says MSRP at one eighty eight zero forty eight dollars okay? We select the floor plan, 32RW. Click the next step, exterior. Again, this one comes standard with partial body paint. When we click full body paint, that adds from 188 to 193, so you're talking $5,000, $5,000 for the full body paint. Uh, which in my opinion is definitely worth it. So then you select your interior decor. You got Domino, Outer Banks, or Satellite, and it does show you the different interior colors on their website. And then the cabinetry. You could do the light brown, dark brown, or the white color cabinetry. And um, the white color cabinetry does cost an additional $1,500, so we will select that. And then here are the options. So this option, uh, no, we're gonna add not the combo, but the stackable. We're gonna do the theater seating. We're gonna do the satellite roof vent covers. 
Um, so Sumo Springs, uh, not capable when you do the liquid springs. So you got the steering stabilizer, collision mitigation, dual glazed window, and then we'll, we'll do this as well. So, but see, that's not counting the liquid springs. So they must not have the liquid springs as the option yet. But now we're looking at a MSRP of 205 958 As you can see, with the Fortis, the MSRPs do, um, do fluctuate depending on how many options that you have. Great. And again, if you guys are interested, it's RV1 of Charlotte. Uh, North Carolina, 704-743-5280. Give them a call. Let them know that you sold on Matt's RV Reviews, and they're going to take fantastic care of you. And they, they have an excellent service department here. Oh, yeah. Uh, with, like, what, 20-something bays? 22 bays. Ve very, very nice dealership the here. GM even said they have NASCAR drivers come to get service here. Which is right. Cool. What were they saying? Like, all the drivers get serviced here. Because yeah, this just, is, like, they, where they live they or something. They them open or something, and the drivers can come and use it when they need to. Yep, he was saying, you know, some big names. Yeah. Hi, Dale. <laughs> 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 Jen, sh sh <laughs> hi, Junior. Oh wait, Jen, Jen. Yes. Art Deco. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Continue. Cool. So over here, I mean, this I love the countertops here. So nice solid surface countertops. Uh, we have nice farmhouse style sink. Very nice. Steel with these sink covers. If I can get it back. Oh God, I'm struggling. There we go. They're nice and heavy. And then uh, pull down faucet here. Up here we have also the like frosted kind of textured glass again for the cabinet okay. fronts. Okay. A lot of storage up there. Jen, I love that backsplash. I know, I do too. I like it. It, it flows really well. I'm kind of getting like a beachy kind of vibe exactly, in here. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And then up here we have a really nice big um, convection microwave. Okay. Um, got some storage down there. Actually a nice bit of storage down there. Yep, and we got drawers here. Yes, and, a, and an outlet. Um, cool, and then we have, this looks like a, I don't know, maybe it's just me, it feels almost like a, a little bit of an extra wide oven. Three burner cooktop, yeah. I mean, it just feels a little wide, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but yeah, nice three burner cooktop, um, Dometic oven, and moving down here we have a fridge, is okay. that, I don't know how you categorize it. Uh, this like is, that. this. <laughs> it's a compressor fridge. Okay, cool. And it's already cold. Yeah. So nice. Nice, nice size for the kind of the kitchen size we have going on, and then a little pantry space down here, which is nice. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. And then behind you, we got another pantry. Oh wow. Okay. So I mean, you could almost use this is like space that could be used like for clothes or pantry since you have all of this. So. Yeah. Very nice. Definitely. It's now time for the for the shower test. Very good size shower. Oh yeah. Very good size, nice width, nice depth. Will would approve this one, I think. This gets shower test seal approval. Bing! Very nice. Uh, show everybody these uh, medicine cabinets and everything. Yeah, so we've got some storage up here, over here. I like how they give you like a lot of like little nooks to organize and then we have some also underneath here and then convenient toilet paper storage. Perfect. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Got like a seal on there. Close that door, please. Okay. It's so borderline. Do we do it? Hmm. I feel like we do it for Junior. Do it for Junior. <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! But if you guys see, it's a little one. I mean, because with the door closed, it did get a little bit more tight in here. Yeah. But I mean, we could have gone either way. Right. Oh, it's it's working. Yes. It's passing. And then look at this bedroom. This is what makes this floor. Plan. I know. For being such a small motorhome. I mean, look at the amount of space going on here. Because you got the double slide out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right here. Look, we got a TV with a televator. Yes. Love that feature. Huge TV. Very very nice. With a fireplace. Very that is nice. awesome. Right there, oh, we got drawers. Cool. I like that drawer. Yeah. Very nice drawers. And then more drawers here. And again, it's one of those things, the TV's there when you want it, and when you don't want it, it's not there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this light. is very weird. It's like a super long one. 
Oh, no, no it's, it's not. Just, oh, it's okay. just one, that I, uh, and I kind of like how they did that. Right, I, no, I was about balance. to say. Yeah. That would have been a long one. That would have been like a very long one. And then, yeah. I mean, the, oh, that, 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 that blind is closed, but I just feel like you get a, a good amount of natural light in here. Yeah, yeah, you know? for sure. Up here above the bed, look, you got the little camping pillow. Oh, I love nice. that. Um, storage above here, very right nice. there, has a CPAP station. Super nice. I can grab this one. More storage up there. Yep, yep. And then we have speakers and little reading lights yes. underneath there. And then Jen, pocket door. Nice. Okay. And then check this out. Stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. The Bounder 35K doesn't even have stackable washer dryer. That's nice. Which is so nice. Um, and it's prepped for it. You know, obviously oh it's an gosh. option. Yeah, Look tons of clothes storage in here. Yeah. And then back here, okay. Wow. So nice. It's like you got like a little table you can set up. Yes, ma'am. And that's your ladder for the bed loft. Yes. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. That's the Invicta 32RW. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this Invicta and three things we don't like about it. Jen, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike. Oh. Hoping you wouldn't say that. <laughs> I have one. Okay. My first dislike is going to be these theater seats. Now, listen, I love these theater seats. They are very plush, but the whole thing, when the legs are out, you are unable to walk by in this. It just is what it is. That was oh. one of my likes. Really? Yeah. Well, you can still make it your life. Okay. Yeah, no, no, we're not going to take that away I understand from, why you But, would, like, there's no like walkway. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's a dislike. Okay. So that's just, like, number one. Jen, number two? Number two, I think I would have to say this bathroom size. Okay. Um, considering, like, you know, it's not like it's a, just a half bath. Um, the shower is good, but I, it would have been nice just to get, maybe like if this pantry was a little bit smaller okay. and the, the bathroom could be a bit bigger, um, considering it's the only bathroom, I think that would have been nice. 10 four, 10 four. I agree. Um, and then number three, Jen, I'm going to kind of say, I feel like it's not big enough to make it a solo dislike. So first I'm going to say the ladder on the back. I hate, oh, Jen, yeah. I hate those ladders. I feel so unsafe climbing That looks climbing like an them. accident waiting to happen. Right, seriously. And um, and then I'm gonna say the size of this fridge. Yeah. This is a nice fridge, but at this, I like the residential fridges. I like the big fridges. Mm -hmm. You know, so here's what I'm saying. You got the pantry right here. We don't need this pantry because we got a pantry right there. Yeah. So give me that full residential size Yeah, and fridge. like with, so I was saying the bathroom size, like either, just make that the pantry, smaller bathroom, but big fridge, or opposite. Like, that, give me one or the other. That's trade-offs. I don't need that much pantry that's space. That's trade-offs. Well, yep. that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Jen, you go first. Well, the, th the, th the number for, one like. Hang on, thanks for contradicting me. Yeah, well, the number one like I had when we went through this is for what I think is a couple's motor home. I like that you have, usually you get the, um, the, um. Trifle. Well, not even a trifle. Like a In sofa. Says, you get the, what's the pop down bed? The what? The one that like lays flat. What's it called? I can't think of it. Oh, a jackknife. Uh, yeah, so normally in this size motorhome, you get a jackknife here. Yep, yep. And I like that, you know, if it's a couple's motorhome, like with Will and I, if we want to sit and watch TV, I like that I can recline and enjoy the space here. And I think it's like, if if we're reclining, we probably don't have a lot of foot traffic here, so yeah. it wouldn't be an issue. But I can see why. As long as you don't need to use the bathroom while Will's reclined. True, but I could squeeze around. But yeah, I could see. Don't where, contradict me, Jen. <laughs> I could see that would be an issue, but I think most of the time it would be enjoyable to, to lay back here. Right, and right. You don't need the sleeping space, I think, when you have the loft. I 110 percent agree with you, and it is a very plush theater seat, which. Is and I mean, I could sleep there. <laughs> right. That is number one. Number two, Jen. I have to say this, master. Yes. Bedroom. The double slide outs in here makes it so big and spacious. You know what? I'm going to give it number two and number three, if that's okay. Because here, here's why. We got the slide outs. Mm -hmm. We got the big TV with the fireplace. All the windows with the natural light. Yes. And the fact that you get a ton of storage in the rear and a stackable washer dryer. Mm -hmm. This bedroom, it's the biggest bedroom in the small... You know what? Again, I said it in the beginning. Perfect combination of quality and price perfect combination of luxury and size part of the whole deal is 
you can't get small luxury because of the chassis. This is the smallest and luxurious that you're going to get. And so it's a really, really nice yeah. feature. At this size motorhome, still, it's just a huge bedroom. Yeah, and you're getting that 22.5 inch tire and the heavier chassis with the 3,300 cargo carrying capacity is really awesome. Yes. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Again, big shout out to RV1 in North Carolina. 704-743-5280. If you're interested in this motorhome, give them a call and let them know that you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. They're going to take fantastic care of you. Jen, do you want to say anything? Yeah, so thank you guys so much for having me on the channel. Um, it's 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 been nice being at the RV1 down here in Charlotte. And also I wanted to mention um, Liquid Springs because I, I enjoyed driving that motorhome so much. It right, actually that's like me, a fourth like. Yes, it gave me like some confidence. Um, like with my first time driving a Class A, I felt so much co more comfortable than I expected. And so it's really exciting that it's coming on this unit. And so we're, we'll definitely be, like Matt said, meeting up with them at Hershey and hopefully making uh, some videos with showing the differences of the two and four point, I think. Yeah, for sure. And if you guys want to see that video of Jen test driving it, it's right there. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to well on Jen's channel, it's right there. Make sure you guys leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you don't like. Yes. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And Jen, we'll see you next time.